All right, all right. Uh, while I'm out here, it's a nice and sunny day over overnight today. Uh, sounds like everybody's starting to work in their yards, huh? But anyway, last night was a downpour. I mean, heavy, heavy thunder. We had, it sounded like the lightning bolt hit out in the front of the house. My suburban uh, alarm went off and it was like, man, I mean, it was close. If not hitting a tree or something, I was looking around to see if there was a tree that was split. But anyway, before all this, I went out and I picked up another riding mower. And, and these I particularly like. It's, uh, you know, the, the Snapper. Uh, this one's a Snapper Comet, an early one. Um, so, you know, it's, it's the 30 inch, usually a 30 inch deck, around 30, some are 29, some are 33, but around a 30 inch deck with the rear engine, uh, the old Snappers. And I've gone through a few of them over here. Uh, I like them. I like to work on them and get them running. And, but so far, I've sold them off. This one, I'm going to take a second look at it. This one is actually the oldest one that I've ever handled, right? So it was the classic barn find. Um, but let me show you what I got. Well, here she blows. It's, uh, I just picked this up the other day. Haven't even had time to unload it yet. And you can see this is an older Snapper Comet. Uh, no decals on the front. And I got this from a kid. Uh, he was selling it for his grandfather. According to him, this thing sat in inside the shed. And you can tell it's not rusty. It's just, uh, you know, except for the surface rust here. But everything else is just years and years and years of dust and some dirt right but even down here it's it's clean on the on top of the deck and he said it's been sitting there in uh in the shed uh and i saw a picture of it um you know in the shed whatever but he was saying he's guessing that it hasn't you know it hasn't, you know, been used since the 80s. Oh, let me climb over here. So I'm taking a look at this, and I'm trying to figure out approximately what year it is. I'll have to narrow it down once I look at all the, uh, the details on this. But looking at this, uh, it's hard to see. I think once I get some of this cleaned off, let me brush it off a little bit. So this has the old the old Briggs and Stratton uh, decal on there. Gosh, what else? According to the, the, the pedals, there's one on each side. I think that made a difference. I was looking at some other ones and it had, where it just had the one big pedal or whatever. And uh, I don't see any decals or stampings or anything like that. I'm probably gonna have to clean it up, but I'm guesstimating that this is probably an early 70s model. I know this is not, uh, the gas tank is not uh, factory, but when I'm looking at it, I'm trying to decide, well, I know some of these had the tank uh, that, that fit back here, and others were, it was kind of similar to this, except it was on this side, on this other side, and I'll just have to take a close look and see which one I think it is, but... Uh, I just don't know yet. I'm going to have to unload this and uh, and I'll start cleaning it up. I guess this is just a uh, precursor to some upcoming videos if you have any experience with these. And of course I'll be Googling everything too, but uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think, what year this is. I think it's pretty cool. I've, I've dealt with, you know, uh, these snappers before uh, this is probably the oldest one that I've got my hands on and uh, I think it's pretty cool but I think it's gonna clean up very nicely you can see it's it's not a whole lot of rust at all there's definitely no rust throughs I mean this sucker has been it's just been inside in a barn in a shed just collecting dust but it's in really really good shape all right, well, yeah, I just wanted to get a, a, a quick video before, because uh, it's really overcast and uh, and it might get rained on for the first time in who knows how many years. 
and I wanted to get some uh, video of it before, even if it gets rained on and gets uh, get all the dirt and, and dust uh, cleaned off of it just from the rain. I wanted to I wanted to film this before it gets rained on or before I clean it or whatever. But uh, well, that's what it looks like. So then we'll take a look at it after I clean it up. Well, I got it off the trailer. I'm still out of breath. And uh, surprisingly, what was it? Three out of four of the tires took air. This one was leaking very fast at first, but now it seems like it's uh, it's holding. But this rear one and the front two, I think the front two had tubes in them. But they're holding air, and the steering is smooth. It's not binding at all. But... The rear tranny, I could tell, you know, going back and forth, it's, it's kind of stuck. And uh, right here, you're supposed to be able to roll it around. Uh, park. Uh, can't get it into any kind of gear. But, uh, but everything else, you know, it's, it's a very mechanical piece, you know. <laughs> There's a lot of... Uh, See the the cables there. Uh, a lot of moving mechanical parts. I'm surprised the front is is going so smooth. I mean, it is no problem. But uh, so I'm going to get under here and get some penetrating oil because it's going to sit here for a while before I can get to it, weather permitting. I mean, the rest of the week's supposed to be raining. But while it sits there, I'm going to spray all this stuff down, especially underneath here on the rear, uh, up here on the levers, just just anywhere where I can see some moving parts and whatnot that uh, that hopefully will loosen up by the time I get to it, and uh, then I'll uh, scrub it down and start working on it. Well, I have to say it cleaned up pretty nicely and you can see I didn't even use a brush I just wanted to see what it would do just by spraying it down and hosing it off with a uh, out of the hose not even a power washer right yeah it uh, <laughs> cleaned up really nicely if you ask me now you can really see what rust is on there and it's just real spotty surface rust Except for the engine here, right in here on the top. But look at that, that's the only spot here, just just a few spots. Even the mowing deck's in good shape. It's amazing. So, yep, there's the old Briggs and Stratton label here. I just have to uh, I want to find out what year this is. And it's going to be hard to find. I can't remember where on this, on the engine that it was stamped. Um, 
or is it here on the top and I'm not seeing it yeah it might be so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna take the gas tank off anyway and and we'll take a look at this sticker that's on top I don't know if that's hopefully that's it so what do you think what year do you think this is I'm predicting a 1972 <laughs> who knows low to mid 70s oh there's there's where that tire is leaking see it there yeah it's just all cracked on this side the other side held air this is the only tire I don't have to worry about I might just put a tube on it while I work on this and get some replacement stickers I think it'd be pretty cool what do you think so what do you think I think this is a prime candidate to uh, for a restoration job what do you think you think it's worth it uh, let me know some guys love these things I do I love them uh, these old snapper comets and this is the oldest one I've had my hands on, right? But uh, it seems like this one's in such good shape. It, I, I'm tempted to uh, do a whole restoration on it and probably keep it. But uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you what you know about the the Snapper Comets and uh, is it worth restoring? Is it worth keeping? What do you think? I think it is. But. Anyway, I guess that's it for this video. This is just a precursor. I wanted you to show what I got my hands on here lately. And, uh, well, this is one of them. So, well, I guess that's it. So, as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch my next video.